my birthday. <laughs> I am 24 years old. Yay! Oh, actually, it's 9:20 a.m. and I was born at 9 a.m. So already 24. Crazy, crazy. Time flies by so fast. And now it's time for breakfast. I'm quite sure the girls are planning some kind of birthday surprise. I was in the kitchen preparing my breakfast because we agreed to have breakfast together today and they asked me to leave. <laughs> like they came inside of the apartment from the outside and asked me to leave. So that's going to be interesting but also really, really nice. I don't know what they're doing but it's going to be nice. What do I want? What do I want? <laughs> Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I don't know how it's in other countries, but in Poland, if you don't blow them right away, yes. they don't. Go, their wish is not gonna make come true. Ah, okay. I can do it like in one spin. Okay. I got ready, and finally, <laughs> and it's time to take a little bit of a walk. We're going to Villa Borghese. Actually, not like to the villa itself, but to the park around it. I saw that it's quite big, quite nice, and it's close by, quite close by. So we're going to get maybe some fresh fruit on our way, or go to the bakery and get some cake. I'm not sure yet, and we're gonna go have a picnic there, chill out a little bit. And uh, because it's my birthday, I wanna look cute for everything. So I'm wearing my favorite dress, like this green one. I probably you saw me wearing it before and uh, my new favorite lipstick it's my birthday so I'm gonna spoil myself <laughs> although I feel like I spoiled myself a lot this past week and ever since I got here I hate so much but it's time to go go for a walk and get some fresh air It's been a few hours, I am home now and I'm about to leave again. <laughs> so we went for a really nice walk to the park, had some, as you saw, tapas from Carrefour. And it was quite nice to just chill, hang out during the day. And now uh, we got ready and we're going for dinner. I'm gonna maybe, you know, post a picture of my food over here that we had at the restaurant. But I think that's it for my birthday. It was super, super chill. I had a birthday dinner with my family right before I left to Italy. So we had a cake and the wishes and stuff. I feel like as I'm getting older, the birthdays are less important. When I was 18, 19, it was such a big deal. And I was making such a high expectations out of everything. I think it's to be perfect and I remember you know it was a thing to write down the wishes to someone on Facebook wall so I was always looking how many wishes I got and stuff and now I all I care about is that my family contacts me that my closest friend contact me I don't really care anymore if the girl I knew in middle school contacts me after 20 years to wish me happy birthday now 24 life is getting more and more real I'm graduating next year my next birthday I'll be 25 quarter to and I graduated from university starting real life so I think this is my last year of university last year where I have more chill and less strict hours and I really want to enjoy it now in Rome and I'm really looking forward for what's next in my life and uh, I'm gonna see you again uh, soon I don't know when I will bring out my camera and I'm going to show you more sightseeing soon so see you guys Something very exciting is about to happen right now. I bought bufala, the real bufala, and I'm so excited to give it a try. I will make some pasta, some very basic pasta, just with tomato sauce and uh, garlic, and then bufala in the middle, and I'm so excited for this. I'm going to take you to the kitchen now, and uh, let's make lunch. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> Welcome to our kitchen, which is so basic. So as I told you, it used to be bread and breakfast. So we just have a coffee machine, cups and stuff, and then this toaster with like a small oven. And then this is our stove, <laughs> but it's enough to cook. So we're gonna be fine. I have this pasta, it's called rigati. It looks like this, like this, I don't know how to call it even. But basically always my favorite pasta was spaghetti. And that was always what I was eating. But then when I was here in one of the restaurants, they served this legati carbonara. And I was like, this pasta is so nice. And then I have uh, passata, this very normal one. So I'm going to fry up some garlic, throw passata in, and that's it. I have this grana padano flakes from my birthday. And um, yeah, I think I will just put it on to the pasta. And also I want to show you very randomly, I went to Todis. And I am a very cheese person. I love good cheese, especially white cheeses, mozzarella, bufala, all that stuff. And I got this, it's called Stracino. Yes, I'm not sure I think it's Stracino. And it's a cream cheese, kind of like this. 
basically they give it to you in a box like this and then yeah it's melting out so i've been using it for my bread let's get started <laughs> So this is the pasta, doesn't it look nice? Always a lot of sauce and let's see the buffalo now. This is packed so tight. No, it opened. Okay, this is huge ass thing. Oh my god. Mm. Isn't this so huge? Look at my hand. It's like the size of my hand like this. It's crazy how big that is. It's time for the taste test, which is the most exciting part. Oh yeah, mmm, this is good. Mm. Today is the adventure time. We are taking the train to go to Frescati, which is just outside of Rome, still part of Rome, Monsipani, okay, still part of Rome, Agglom agglomeration, never mind. The point is that we're going there for a little adventure. We found on Airbnb this cooking class. I didn't know that on Airbnb actually you can book experiences, but apparently you can. So we're going there by train and then they're picking us up from the train station, taking us for a little tour of Frescati, then we're going to the winery to try some wine and then we're making pasta from scratch and making tomato sauce and eating it so i'm really looking forward to this i think it's going to be super super fun a little adventure and uh, i'm also like from the practical stuff i think i want to tell you for those of you who are coming to rome and you're wondering how to buy tickets so there is this app called my cicero where you can buy all the I think public transportation also, I'm not sure, but you can buy there easily the train tickets, you know, so you just go in here and you see exactly what time, until when, and you can book it super, super easily. And I think it's really convenient because when you go to buy it in person, sometimes there's a line and all of that. So I really recommend this app if you want to travel around Rome and uh, I'm going to see you in the metro and then in the train and then in Frascati. Frascati was super super nice, the whole experience was very nice, when we got there we got two glasses of wine, one red and one white, which they produce at their place, then we also got, as you saw, some cheese and uh, salami with truffle on the outside, which was so good, and some prosciutto, and uh, then later on we made our own pizza from scratch, and it's so easy to make pizza, just egg with flour, basically it, yeah. so it was really really nice experience, um, and I'm putting the link in the description to the place where we went to, so you can go there as well, I really recommend Comment. I really had fun there. They had a lot of reviews on their Airbnb page and I understand why. And I just wanted to share with you a little bit more about public transportation because I talked about this app so I figured let's cover this whole in a video. So what I use here in Rome, like within Rome, Rome capital I guess, within like the city limits, I have a monthly ticket so I just wanted to share it with you. You get the monthly card for everything, metro, bus, trams. This is how it looks like after you get it, so it's super easy when you go to the metro, you just put it, like, you know, to the gate and it opens and you can have it in bus and everything. So the reason why I'm talking about it is because it's more complicated to get the monthly one. Uh, basically, you can get, I think, one day trip, 24 hours, 72 hours in one week, as far as I'm and uh, I think one week one was like 25 or 27 euro and the monthly one is 35 euro so it really makes sense to make a monthly one but you cannot buy it so simply in kiosk we have to go to the 
office basically and they have few offices there's of course one in Termini which is the main station but then we, we went to Ottaviano the one close to where we live and there's also many other stations where they are at so you have to go and fill out the paper which is obviously in Italian but it's just one page and then you have to have a copy of your ID or your passport and a printed out photo like this and there are actually booths in the metro station so you can do it there or you can also go to the shop like to get the Oh, picture taken professionally <laughs> and I think that might be better quality because the ones that Metro are really really shitty but it gets the job done so if it's just for the cart you know I think it's fine but if you want something a little bit nicer you can go to the shop and actually one of my friends she said that she went to do that and the guy asked her to leave outside on the street took out his phone and then the lighter flat like a highlight lighter like the one that you know brings light lighter not the uh, cigarette lighter but the phone lighter so he put a lighter underneath her chin and then took out his phone and he took a picture like this on the street and then on his computer he just removed the background to make it white but you know it worked like it looked nicer than the metro one that's everything i think for today's video um i am 24 as you guys know but the, my birthday was super chill but it was still nice and this week was a little bit more chill because the next vlog is the intro week and intro week will be so intense and i hope you enjoyed this one let me know what you like seeing what you don't like seeing so i will know a little bit more what to show you and uh, i hope you're having a very very wonderful day and as always there's my email in the description below so if you have any questions you can email me and i hope to see you again in one of my videos bye bye